What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. It's part three of our Zero Base One Cinema Paradise unboxing. Wow, the uh, synchronization was 80, oh, eight out of 10. <laughs> what is this version called? Uh, a very loud, thin plastic version. <laughs> Today we're gonna take a look at the film version, the Digipack version, and the Zeros version. Why so many versions? I don't know. Money, money, money. This one has seven versions. This particular album. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yes. Oh, oh. Ah, it's like coming up. Stop. Oh, it's acrylic. It's not like my actual nail is falling off. Which one should we start with everyone? I think maybe we should start with the Zeros version because I've already opened it. <laughs> <laughs> I went to K-pop time and I pre-ordered all the other versions like the photo book ones, the digipack and the film version, but I hadn't pre-ordered this one and I saw it on the shelf and I just thought that I needed it. Um, and I also wanted to open one on the day. So this is the one that I decided to open in the store. I also think that I've lost the photo card. Well, not, <laughs> not lost it, but it's like already in my binder and I didn't pull it out. So we're just gonna look at, you know, the vibes of this. Here we go, Zero's version. This is the Yura Yura cover version. The Zero's version actually has seven different versions. So it has seven different covers, one for each song on the album. And this is the one that I chose, the Yura Yura cover version, because it's the only one that was sort of this like animated style. And I just think it looks so cute, so pretty. I love the colors. I like anything where they, you know, animate the members. I think it's like really cute. I don't want to buy all of them because I think that's fucking ridiculous. I'm pretty sure what's inside is exactly the same. To me, that's just scam. That's a scam. Like literally just this plastic cover is different, I think. You got the boy love version, what else do you need? The BL version. It's so cute. I'll show you guys inside a little bit. So it's kind of annoying because it's literally just like a plastic folder and then it just has shit in it. <laughs> Whatever. This is what I was talking about, actually. If you haven't watched my photo book version unboxings, you can go check those out after this video. I did mention that there were stickers of the different song titles in the different fonts. And it was actually from this version that I was thinking of. So here we have Eternity, Road Movie, and Insomnia stickers. These, I believe, were kind of randomly put in the albums. So I got these three, but you could have got the other songs in their fonts. I really like these stickers. I think they're really cute. Then you just get the CD with the red film camera this time. Was it not in a box or anything? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it was just like shoved in there. Pretty wild, isn't it? What if it's scratched? It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna play it. But yeah, it is pretty chaotic, isn't it? You get a postcard, which was random. So I got How. I think the photo card that I got was, I think I got Jiwong actually. So it was good because it was a member that I collect. I really should have gone and found that photo card. Sorry guys. <laughs> Instead of a photo book, you kind of get this almost like flip book type thing of just photos of all the members. It feels super flimsy, but I feel like it's one of those things where you're supposed to be able to just like rip out the photos if you want. Like you could, if you wanted a picture of like Matthew on your wall, I mean, I would like a picture of Matthew on my wall. <laughs> you guys have seen my giant standee that I have. What a psycho. But if I wanted a picture of Matthew on my wall in my office, you could just rip this out. And I think that's what this is kind of made for. So not really a traditional photo book, but more just like a collection of little photos that you can rip out with the lyrics on the back here. So yeah, that was this sort of um, Zero's version. This was quite cheap. If I remember correctly, I think it was only about maybe $20, $25. At least you're not paying like full album price for something that's not particularly that exciting. Like you do get a photo card, the stickers are cute and a little postcard, but you're not getting that sort of proper high quality photo book or anything, but it is super cute. So let's get into one of the ones that I haven't opened yet. Um, which one should we start with now, Josh? Probably the other ones we can, the bigger ones that we don't have to zoom the camera in yet. All right. So let's open up the Digipack version. Which version did I get, Josh? The Matthew. Matthew, I did. There's nine different versions for each of the members. I only got the Matthew one this nine time. For each. No, one for each member. <laughs> Not nine versions for each member. That would be fucking ridiculous. Next comeback though, 
I wouldn't be surprised. Zero base one, nine by nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the cover, it's cool. It's like black and white, it's got that film strip vibe. They're really going hard with that concept. If you got a concept, stick to it. This photo is a beautiful, I love this little necklace. I don't know, aesthetic vibe photographs on the front and on the back, cinema paradise in a nice like shiny silver. Let's open it up so we can look at that shine a bit better. Just love shiny things, <laughs> in case you didn't know that already. Yeah, look at that, love it. I just love it when anything is shiny. Cinema Paradise, Zero Base One. I like the logo, it's really cute with the ZB1 in the little film camera and the song titles. This actually does have something on the spine this time. All their names are written here and then because this is Matthew's version, they've highlighted that in white, which is kind of cool. That actually makes me want to get them all because I think it would look really cool having them all, like the spines showing with the different names. God damn it, they just know how to get me. I'm like the ideal K-pop stan. Companies are just like, yes. <laughs> I don't know what these numbers mean. Probably something important. 4, 5, 13, 14, 04 a 5 a I don't know. I'm not going to get spoiled this time. Oh my God. Just got spoiled? <laughs> no, but I just saw the photo that was inside. Ah! That is a gorgeous photo of my boyfriend, Matthew. Look at him. Amazing. I think the CD is just in here. All right, let's pull out the CD. Oh, I really like it when they put pictures of the members on the CDs. I think that's really nice. I really love the lighting. Here. Oh my god, these gloves. He's wearing like netted gloves. Oh, that's so slay. Oh my god, I can't wait to see the photos. I want to see like the outfit a bit better because it looks really cool. It reminds me of literally like a old film operator. You know the dudes who are like in the room that operate the cameras? Projectionist. Yay! Yes. It's reminding me of like an old school projectionist and I, I think that's kind of hot. So <laughs> that's what we're going with. And let's see what we have in here. I'm assuming we've got like a little photo booky thing and a photo card somewhere. All right, that's empty. All the inclusions have been taken out. So let's have a little look at this booklet we have here. We have a nice side profile shot of Matthew looking very, very hot. I really love the lighting, this orange red lighting. I think it really just suits his vibe and the highlight. Ugh. Incredible. Let's have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> see, this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see these gloves. Yeah, this is a lot. Look at the spikes and coupled with the necklace and the shirt and the little suspenders. I don't know what's going on in this glass. I think, it, oh, I think it's full of rose petals, like white rose petals. That's kind of cool. That's a vibe. This photo is actually everything. I kind of hope there's a poster over there that you pulled out. And if there is, I hope it's a photo like this. <sighs> I can't breathe. <sighs> oh, hello. This is fucked. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> the mic's just picking up me being like swallowing, being like, Goop. <laughs> oh my gosh, he looks amazing. Uh, yeah, it's definitely rose petals, I think. Very cool. He's in a projection place because it's got all the film reels here. I think that's actually what they're going for. It's like he's a hot projectionist. I'm a star! I'm a star! I say that so many times a day. <laughs> I, before we film the videos, I use it as like my kind of pump up like <laughs> phrase. I'm not as crazy as Pearl, but I'm up there, I think. <laughs> yep. I seriously need these photos like just like tattooed on my eyeballs, on my eyelids, <laughs> not my eyeballs. So I can see them all the time while I'm asleep. They are fucked up, dude. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm losing it over here. I'm just gonna pretend I don't care. Oh yeah. I guess, looking fine, I guess, Matthew, yep. Whatever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks instantly. <laughs> just just another photo. Don't even care. You don't look great at all. No, not at all. <laughs> okay, that one's fucked though. <laughs> oh my god, I actually feel like I'm like burning up. I don't think I've been this flustered on camera for a while. Yep, okay, good photo book. <laughs> Oh, and then we have a group photo. Amazing. Yay, zero base one. <laughs> <laughs>
Fuck you now. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Get it together, woman. That was the photo book. Looks like we have some inclusions here. The first thing we have, I think, is stickers, actually. Oh. Jesus. Oh my god, again! <sighs> Those are just one solid thing, and you gotta cut them out. Why do they do this? Is it stickers? Or is it's it just not a. It's stickers, then what the fuck is it? There's been some stupid fucking K pop inclusions. Gay pride, gay pride, there's two rainbows. Yay! Like a, a gay rose and a gay heart. Love that. No, I do kind of like this, but I do wish they were stickers that you could take off because they're actually really, really cute. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Like, it's literally a sticker. Just, they keep doing this. Just fucking. <sighs> it's just another fucking con for wake one. All right, what else have we got? This looks like it might be some sort of poster. So let's see what we've got. I'll just take a bit of a breath first. <laughs> yep. Isn't that the exact photo that I said that I wanted as a poster? Thank you. Where should I put this? Maybe somewhere private, it seems like. Somewhere private. I put it on the ceiling <laughs> above my bed. <laughs> oh, this is an unhinged unboxing today. What is going on? I'm never unhinged. What are you talking about? They're like, I just opened <laughs> I folded it up and like put it put it to the side and then I was like, oh no, actually. And I just opened it back up and put it in there so I can look at it. Am I okay? No. I don't know what this is. Feels like some sort of like postcard or something like that. Kind of looks like a chocolate wrapper. You know when you open a box of chocolates and they've got like the little insert there that you take off before you look at the chocolates? That's what it's reminding me of. Um, but let's see what we have. Oh, okay, so this is a random inclusion. We've got Ricky here. We've pulled a lot of Ricky today. He looks hot as fuck. Very nice. His lips look amazing. I love these butterfly earrings. I know I said that during the photo book, but I really want to start getting back into wearing earrings again, but they just hurt my ears. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. What is this? Oh, cute. So this is like, wait, what do you call it? A clap cut. This looks like it's random because we've got Jiwong on here. So I'm assuming there will be one for every member. That's kind of cute. On the back, a little message from him, I think, and some drawings. Adorable. There's quite a few inclusions in here. I'm pretty impressed, like, the amount of inclusions just for a, like, digipack. I don't know, it looks like a ticket or something, like a movie ticket. Looks like we've got Jiwong's version. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I was so surprised that there was a photo on the back. But here we go, he's got his blonde hair here. Oh my god, obsessed! Wow, his jawline looks fucking crazy here. I love this photo. But yeah, it looks like a little movie ticket. He's the director, cast, Zero Base One, soundtrack, all the names of the songs. And there's a rating here, but it doesn't look like any of the stars have been highlighted. <laughs> it's a zero out of five. Well, there's not a review either, so I assume it's supposed to be your review, right? Oh, so I have to fill it in. All right, I'll go in and I'll give it five stars and write like, Yes, Matthew in the review section. <laughs> I really like all these like, you know, themed inclusions. It's really fun. And then, oh my God, we have two photo cards. That's so exciting. All right, so we have two photo cards here. We have one with a black background and one with a white background. They do have the signatures on them. So I'm pretty sure I know who this one is just by the signature. This one, I'm not entirely sure. I know fake fan, like I haven't memorized what their signatures look like. Let's have a look. We'll look at this one first because I think this one is Gonuk, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. No! Oh my god, I was wrong. Okay, we have Tere here, looking very, very cute. Look at his pink hair. Oh, I love it! This is great because I do collect him, as we know. So that is one that I can tick off my list. I really like it. I don't know why I thought this was Gonuk's signature, but we've got a nice little message here. And the back is white with grey stars. Cinema Paradise is EB1, Zero Base One, the fourth mini album. And yeah, I like this one. He's got like a really cute little V pose, little black jumper. I really love his hair like that. So very happy to get that one. And who else do we have? We have this black one here. I'm wondering if maybe this one was random and this one might be like a guaranteed Matthew, but I'm not sure. So let's have a look. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so we have Guven. Wow, this is a cute one. 
I love his choker necklace and the ring is really cool. And a nice little wink face there. They've both got really nice hair colors, very unique, like a little reddy pink and then like a more yellowy blondy pink. Adorable. I am obsessed with these photo cards. I'm kind of sad I didn't get Matthew, but that's okay. It, it seems that it means there was no like guaranteed inclusion for Matthew apart from the poster. It's kind of annoying when they do that. Like I would like it if you got a guaranteed photo card um, based on the member that you buy for the Digipack, but that would stop people from spending more money. And <laughs> that's not what Wake One wants. So here we are. <laughs> And then we got this like little clear card thing, which I guess you can put like over your photo card to make it look like you're like taking a video of the member. I don't know, it's kind of cute. Like it's a little addition that fits the concept of the album. So yeah, that's cute. All right, now let's open this little um, film version that we've got here. It is super heavy. Like I'm kind of excited to get into it because I don't really know what it's made of. I'm excited to have a look at what's going on in here. So let's rip it open. Yeah, get that fucking plastic off it. Yeah, I know, it's Why? so loud. Oh. Oh, Ah, oh, my ears. Ooh. Film lens at the front here. On the side, ZB1, the fourth mini album, Cinema Paradise, Wake One. And then I assume that is Cinema Paradise written in Hangul, I don't know. And on the back we have the names of all the members and the track list. It's a nice color combination again, got some um, yellow and black and green. I do like the, um, the, palette, the color palette that they've gone with this time. So this is like a little outer cardboard thing so we can pull this out and let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really cool. So it's like a little plastic box, like Perspex. Wow, I love that. I don't think I've seen a little platform version that's been like this. It's literally usually just box cardboard shit. box with, with um, photo cards in it. This is actually really nice. Maybe they're sort of going for like a cassette type packaging vibe, I don't know, to go with the sort of old film, old technology type vibe. Group photo of them on the front here. Oh, it's that photo, <laughs> the one where they're all lying on, on um, Howe's crotch. <laughs> Love that. All the names, the title of the album on the front, and then, yeah, pretty standard, the um, track list on the back there. But let's crack this open and see how easy it is to get open. I'm a bit worried. Do I have to press it or? <sighs> So just opens like that, a little box. And then, oh, so this comes out. It's like a little book. Interesting. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so this looks like it's just a like insert for the back. I don't think that, oh, it does come out. That comes out, but it's just kind of like a little insert for the back so that you've got the print on the back and on the spine. And then this is where I think all the good shit is. So if we open this up, oh my God, what is going on here? What is this? That's cool. Does this actually play music? I think it might. It's got like a little mini disc inside. I think this pops out. It kind of looks like a mini vinyl or something. It definitely pops out, but I'm not sure that I want to pop it out because otherwise I'm probably just gonna end up fucking losing it. But yeah, it's like, it kind of looks like a little mini vinyl record in this like Perspex frame and it can pop out. On the back it says, yeah, Cinema Paradise on the front, Zero Base One. That's pretty cool. Then the rest of this looks like it's all sort of photo cards and stuff. So let's pull those out. And this little insert here is just all the song titles. What's going on here with the photo cards? I have no clue. Okay. okay Nemo album, install the Wake One. So no. I thought they might put like a QR code on here so you actually scan that to get the music, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, I've got the credits here. It's pretty boring. And I don't really know how we do this. I feel like there's gonna be like a set of photo cards that's standard for each one that everyone gets. And then there'll be like a couple of random things. So I think this is a random inclusion here. We've got a little film strip here. We've got Juong, which is great. One of my main men looking handsome as always. The, the back is different. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. Love that. Ah, okay. So I feel like this might be the photo card set that everyone gets. And then maybe this is 
the random member photo card that's like, you know, the value piece <laughs> of the platform album. Oh, okay, they've got the names on the back actually. Yeah, so this is just a full set of all the members. First we have Eugen. Oh, little baby. That's a really nice jacket. It looks very, very cute there. It's got like blue contacts, I think, but not creepy ones. <laughs> They're good ones. Next we have Gonuk. Oh, these are really cute pictures actually. I think I've said before, like I'm not a fan of him with his purple hair. I really cannot wait until he gets rid of the purple hair. I love purple. You know I love purple. My hair is purple. I'm like, oh my God, matching hair with Gonuk, but it just doesn't suit him. I'm sorry, it doesn't. He's like one of the cutest people I've ever seen, but this hair just does not suit him. All right, now we have Cuban. Oh, sparkly jacket. Cute, cute. Ricky. <laughs> Why does that have such a different vibe? <laughs> This is like how I expect his just super slay passport photo to look. You know, everyone's passport photo looks like absolute trash. And then you look at Ricky's and it's just like model shot, extraordinaire, best photo you've ever seen in your life. Now we have Tere. Oh, everyone else is like in really dark clothes and he's just like, I'm going to wear white because I'm slay. The makeup is very cute. I love it. Matthew, here's my boy. Oh. Look at the little cheeks. I want to squish. That's adorable. Now we have Hal. Oh, Han Hart. Looking very expensive as usual with his pearls and uh, designer jacket. <laughs> and Jung. Oh, another Han Hart. And the blonde hair, Slay, we love to see it. Oh my God, this is like just flip. Look at this. Do, 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 do. Oh, you see that? Oh my God, my photo cards are haunted. <gasps> what is happening? <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Sung Han Bin. Oh, look at him. A little silky shirt, silk shirt boy. Very cute. This is a really nice photo card set. Really, really nice. You wouldn't be upset if you got these as, you know, like proper album photo card inclusions. I feel like sometimes you get these photo card sets and these platform albums and they're like a little bit mid and you're like, mm. you can tell that it's like a photo card set that's just really standard, but these are actually really nice. So no, I'm happy with those. The main event, a nice black background, Cinema Paradise in like a silver. What? No. Nice black background. No. Did you look at it? No. Am I going to be upset? I don't know. Maybe. Oh God. Now I don't want to know. Is it Ricky? <sighs> well, now you've made me upset. Now I'm more. <laughs> All right, let's just bite the bullet. Let's go. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> I don't know. What is this? So what's the random photo card that we get? I don't think you do. But this is a set. This is the only random thing? Looks like it. <laughs> I take back what I said about this being cool. I don't like it. I mean, at least this photo card set is amazing. But like, is this the same thing that everyone gets? Surely. I'm not happy. I actually can't believe you didn't warn me. And I was like, do you think I'm going to be upset? You're like, well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> of course I'm fucking upset. I thought it was going to be a photo card. It's a fucking blank piece of fucking cardboard. God damn it. I quit. I quit K-pop. Oh, fucking wake one man, you get me. Still official. Still official photo card. So as to not end on a little bit of a negative note there, Let's take a look at some pre-order benefits that I got with my albums. You can be angry still, it's fine. It doesn't I am still angry. <laughs> I'm just hoping that looking at some pobs will uh, calm my mind. <laughs> I have already looked at these just um, as a disclaimer, but I thought you would all like to see what I got. Um, I have these pobs from, these three are from Apple Music, and then I also got one from K-Town For You. I got them from K-Pop Time, so the person who owns the store very nicely chose ones for me that are the members I collect. So 
I'm very, very lucky. I think I have two Matthew and two Tere. So let's have a little look at what we've got. So this first one, nice pink background. Zero Base One Cinema Paradise, Apple Music Pob. Let's see. It's Matthew with a little winky face, my favorite. I really love the colors of this. I love the pink. I love the silver necklace. He's got my favorite winky face. Obsessed. What a cute one. The next one again from Apple Music. Pink background here, same as the other one. And we have Tere. Yay. Again, winky face. This must have been like winky face day at the uh, <laughs> the pub taking factory. <laughs> but no, he looks very, very cute. I love his smile so much. His teeth are amazing. And yeah, he's got this lovely blonde hair that he's had this sort of pink wash in. So love that. The next one is also an Apple Music Pop, but it has a red background with a basketball on it for some reason. Um, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, okay, so these ones are like a basketball pops. And um, we have Terry here with a little mini basketball, pretending he's about to take like a three pointer, I guess, in a little jersey. Sports, you know, I love sports on this channel. Sports, but if it's Terry playing basketball with a tiny little basketball, then I'm into sports, very, very cute. And the last one we have is a K-Town for you, Pob. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Um, it's on a black background here, Cinema Paradise Zero Base One, K-Town for you. Let's have a look and see who we have. It's Matthew. I literally did spoil at the start, didn't I? Cause I was like, I've got two Matthew and two Tere. But yeah, this is cute. Another winking face, look, three winking faces. These were like taken for me. They literally were like, okay, Kate likes winking faces, so we're gonna take these today. But he is in a more sort of darker outfit with a little bandana, more silver chains, and yes, very, very cute cheek poke version. My God, there's nothing better than pobs, right? They're so cute. So that was part three of my Zero Base One Cinema Paradise unboxing. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I did. There's too many versions, but I still love looking at all the photo books and the photo cards. I know there's going to be another comeback in like probably two weeks. Um, so stay tuned for those videos. They will come out very, very soon. In the meantime, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. Let me know which version was your favorite in the comments down below. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Take your time, mate. Fuck. <sighs> Baby, let's kill the Romeo. I put my dick in the vice and now it's flat. Hentai version. Ah! The old down cam. Down a cam. At eight. At eight. Someone got stabbed. Mm. I know it couldn't have happened in a nicer venue, eh? <laughs> Man, the reputation now. <laughs> the same. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so fucking gullible, man? I haven't murdered anyone. Don't put that in. <laughs> I killed a guy. Let's move on. We'll get that later when you're alone. Oh my God. I don't understand. How much more expensive can it be to just make it so your stickers are cut out? It drives me crazy. Yeah, they can't even spend the money on cutting the fucking stickers out. So. I know, you think they could fuck, the amount of money I fucking spend on these boys, like you'd, you'd think they could fucking cut out my stickers for me. God damn it.